Hello, I just got a Corsair K95 RGB keyboard. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I program the G keys to run applications and open directories using Auto Hotkey as a companion application. I did a lot of research before purchasing this keyboard. I'm coming from a Razer Black Widow, and I was really excited about all the, the RGB capabilities and just the neat stuff you can do with this. Uh, I read a lot about the Q software being glitchy. Um, but they seem to have updated it and it's really been a very slick uh, software and the interface has been really clean. Uh, however, I have noted that it's very unintuitive to use and uh, I haven't found a lot of good help for it. The, the built-in help is, is pretty much useless. You just get a couple bullet points. Um, and I didn't find any good source of information on, on how to program these, these keys for what I want to do. So hopefully this video will save you a little bit of time. Um, I'm not going to go over the lighting effect, but I will just real quick kind of show my setup that I have on here. So this, one neat thing about the Q software is it has a, an emulator of how the keyboard looks in front of me. And this is exactly how my keyboard looks. So I set up two profiles to switch between using the lock button here. Uh, I don't use this for gaming. I, I use this for programming, for, for Excel, a lot of data entry, those types of things. And I don't like having the caps lock key and insert key and num lock key enabled most of the time. So I set up a, a, a color layer uh, to make these red and then disable the keys and it switches on the lock key. So if I press the lock key, this is what it looks like on my keyboard as well in real time. It changes the colors and it's disabling the these keys and enabling them. Uh, one thing to, else to note uh, about the colors of this keyboard is this is an they have RGB LEDs so you can't really get a true white. It's always going to be a little bit red, a little bit green, or a little bit blue. And I tweaked with it and play with it. You can see I put 245 in here for the blue because mine are a little bit blue. But really it just kind of goes back and forth between red, green, and blue. And after a while I just realized you just have to ignore it. It's just an, an artifact of, of using an RGB LED. So don't spend a whole lot of time and effort trying to trying to get these right. I mean if you have a little bit of a pink or a little bit of a green you can mess with them a bit. But after a while it's, just, it's not worth messing with. Um, so I'm going to get right into uh, the actions on here. So... Uh, in order to have my my normal mode, um, I have my, my keys disabled, and these are pretty straightforward using creating an action um, in here to just disable the key, and then the next pro profile is enabled. Um, to, to launch a program, uh, I really could not find anything built into the software to do it, which was really frustrating. And it could be that I just don't know what I'm doing, that's definitely a possibility, but I, I couldn't find anything on the user forums to, to explain it, and I couldn't find anything in the software. Um, so the workaround that I came up with was to have each of these keys, so for say example here I'm going to open VMware, um, all it does is it sends a keystroke, so it's going to send control shift B uh, to run media monkey control shift A, um, to open certain directories you know control shift 5, and that's all it does is I send a, a key remap to send that out and that's going to be the exact same as if I were to press it on the actual keyboard control shift 5, and that's the extent of it on this end. Uh, there's no other configuration on, on the Corsair uh, software. You can basically close it down at that point. Uh, and then on the second side of that for the uh, auto hotkey, you just create an auto hotkey script that is always looking for those control characters and performs an action. So for example here on this one we have control shift 5. So it's going to be control shift and then 5 run and then this directory maximized. For say uh, Notepad, Notepad is just going to be run Notepad, the location of Notepad, and maximized. Uh, for my VMware player application, it's just the directory, and then I don't specify maximized, and it runs in the normal state. And that's really it. There is not much else to it. Um, Auto Hotkey is is really easy to use. Um, it's a very powerful tool, and it can be kind of confusing. Um, but just for this application, it's I mean as you can see here, it's really simple. So it's, this is one script file for this entire keyboard, and it's just going to run through this all the time looking for these control keys and then perform the action. I found over the past few days of using it, it actually works really well. It's really slick. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description to Auto Hotkey and uh, this example project here, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.